Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to verify this equation. So here big D uh, is what's called a differential operator. It means you just take the derivative. So we're applying this to y. So let's work out the left hand side first. So we have D plus 1 and then we have 2D minus 3 and it's being applied to y. So let's first uh, go ahead and do this part here. So we still have d plus 1. Go ahead and put an equal sign here. And the way to do this is just take 2d and apply it to y. So that would mean that it's 2 times the derivative of y, because big D means take the derivative. So this is 2y prime. And then just take this one and distribute it to the y, so minus 3 y. There's no derivative there, so it's just regular multiplication. Okay, for this next step, um, the way I like to do it is just one piece at a time. So we take the big D and we apply it to both of these. So when you take big D and apply it to this one, you're going to get 2 times the second derivative, right, because you're taking the derivative again. And then take big D and apply it to this one, and you'll get minus 3 times the first derivative and then take the 1 and multiply it by that, so 2y prime, and then take the 1 and multiply it by that, minus 3y. Takes a little bit of practice. So this is 2y double prime. So here when you combine these, you just get minus y prime, and then minus 3y. So that's the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and work out the right-hand side. So we have 2 big D minus 3, and then big D plus 1, and then we have our Y. So same thing, let's work from the right left. So we have 2D minus 3. So applying big D to Y is going to give us Y prime. And, up, and then just 1 times Y is just Y. So now let's apply 2D to everything here. So we have 2D and the Y prime. That's going to give us uh, 2Y double prime. Right? We're taking the derivative of the derivative, and then uh, apply 2d to y, and that's going to give us uh, plus 2y prime. And then apply the minus 3 to the y prime, so that's minus 3y prime, and then minus 3y is the last piece. Oh, look at that, it worked. So we have 2y double prime. Combining these middle terms, we get minus y prime, minus 3y. And so that verifies that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Just a simple example, um, to get practice with operator multiplication. It's just like regular multiplication except you're taking derivatives. By the way, the reason this works intuitively is because here we have constant coefficients, right? You start putting x's and stuff in front of the d's and it doesn't work. I hope this video has been helpful.